take this. Oh, thanks. Ugh. Sorry, I uh, made you sick. Oh, that's right. It doesn't take much to make me puke. How could you be so calm about all this? Maybe, I don't know, maybe it just hasn't sunken in yet, or maybe I just don't think it's that big a deal. Phil, the guy docked his shuttlecraft in your ass, and you don't think that's a big deal. That's rape. I don't know. I'm, I'm just really confused about the whole thing. To tell you the truth, I don't know what to do. What you need to do is you need to call the police and turn that buttfucker in. No, Richard, no. I told you already. Nobody can know about this. Do you understand that? <sighs> you know, the thing that I'm really trying to work out within myself is that I'm not upset about this. I'm not. I... Could it be that I'm not entirely in touch with my sexuality? That maybe a part of me is... Gay? Whoa, 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 Phil. Okay, listen to me. You've been through a very traumatic experience, okay? You're a little weirded out right now, so push those impulsive thoughts right out of your head. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, what am I, what am I thinking? Okay, look. Don't think me homophobic for saying this, all right? But gay people scare the holy shit out of me, all right? They make it their mission in life to turn straight people gay, all right? Don't fall into their trap. I've yeah. known you for a very long time. And believe me when I tell you this, you're not a pork-smoking, corn-holing, pillow-biting butt buddy. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and I, I want you to know that I really... You know, I really appreciate you for helping me with this. Okay, look, I got an idea. Okay, I met this girl. Her name is Amber, all right? And she's really great. She's blonde, she's beautiful, and she's about as close to normal as an L.A. woman can come, okay? Do you want me to call her for you? Yeah, sure. Cool. Okay, great. You're going to like her. Hello, Amber? Hi, yeah, it's Richard. Remember me? Yeah, 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 that's, that's right, yeah. How you been? I've been doing good, you know, as well as me too.
I'm in the bathroom. Hey, girl, what you doing? Getting ready for my match. Match? You mean boxing? Yeah. Man, you are crazy. There's this girl who's really big mm -hmm. and really, really good. And uh, she wants a challenge man. I think it's because we're both on my team. Can't wait to go. Man, Pete, I just don't get you. This whole boxing thing is such a mystery to me. What, do you like getting hit or something? What if this chick kicks your butt? Well, then I'll just have to train harder and get better. <laughs> come with me to Walt Gizmo. Well, I gotta get ready. Oh, come on, Pete. This may be the last time I see you alive. Come on, let's go. Okay. I'll be there in a sec. You know, if you spent half the time and energy that you do in boxing and find yourself a man, you would have more time for the finer things in life. Yeah, maybe. But is this some kind of way of releasing your frustrations? What do you mean? Simple. You hate your job, you just lost your parents, and you have no life. Boxing seems like some kind of radical way of venting. Can that be? Could be. Think of the consequences. You don't want to go to your receptionist job all black and blue. Hey, check this out. Why don't you come to Bible study with me tonight? Mm. Look, I know how you feel about it, but please give it a shot. Listen, why don't you let God into your life? Then he could take away this anger, this frustration, this anxiety. Then he could fill your heart with love. Isn't that so much healthier? And isn't that better than getting the crap beat out of you? Yeah, I think I can take her. Oh, good Lord, give me guidance. Yeah, I just figured if this is a phase that I'm going through, it's something I'll have to do and learn by it. And if it's a mistake, there's no one else to blame but me. It's just something I have to do. OK, OK, I tried. But you know what? If you find yourself a man, things will change. Probably. Hey, check this out. Let's go to that club tomorrow night, me and you. We'll do a little dancing, we'll tease the guys a little, and maybe you can find yourself the one. But I don't know how to dance. Sure you do. You just move your hips to the beat. Oh, come, come on, girl. Come on, do it. Like this. Hey, there you go. Hey, girl. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, do it, baby. Party over here. <laughs> Richard. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you, Steve Gunther. Hi, Steve. This is Max Lieberman. Nice to meet you. Max. Take a seat, Richard. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Listen, Richard. All of us here at New Point are very excited about your short film. We'd very much like the chance to work with you if you're interested. Oh, yeah, I'm very interested. I like the stuff you guys do, uh, especially the fine point division. Ah, come on, that's the artsy crap. We're more interested in putting you into the big league stuff. You know, commercial films with real budgets. Okay. So here's what we want to propose. What we want to do is offer you a two... Yeah? Well, look, you tell that fucker he's off the film if he doesn't like it. Tell him I can find... Just give me a second, Richard, all right? Tell him I can find a hundred starving other writers who'd kill to pick up where he left off. Yeah, and tell him that I'll do it. Tell him I'm gonna rip up his fucking contract feed to his fucking dog, all right? Yeah, pass it on. <laughs> Sorry about that, Reed. No problem. So look, here's what we want to do. We want to offer you a two-picture deal. First film's gonna be a way of test in the water. Something with a modest budget, but, you know, something you can have a lot of fun with. Is this the, uh, uh, the Hellraiser thing? You're on it, baby. We're talking about the next installment in the very lucrative Hellraiser franchise for us here at New Point. You make it good, makes us money, Pretty much write your own ticket here. So what do you think? Can I be uh, perfectly honest with you, Steve? Hey, why not, huh? Honesty's a rarity in this business, isn't it? What's on your mind? Okay, um, here's the thing. I don't think I'm the best guy for the job. How do you mean? Well, I'm not into horror films. Um, I wouldn't know what or how to do it. Uh, 
it's it's not in here. Well, if it's not in here, then you're not going to get a good product. So maybe there's someone out there who's looking for a break, who loves the genre, who would put their heart and soul into into the film and give you the kind of product you're looking for. So you don't want the job? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I want to work for your company. Uh, this just isn't me. I'd like to propose something. Okay. Uh, what do you have? This. Something I care about. Something that can be made for a very modest budget. And it's something that I can put the same passion and energy into that my short film had. You're going to love this. All right, what's it about? Okay. Seven strangers get on a bus. They go on a journey. One of them is a murderer. Uh, good, you got him on the line? All right, yeah, put me through. Hey, Bill, Bill, buddy. Yeah, hey, I hear we're having some kind of problem there. Oh, yeah, well, come on, Bill, that's not too cool. That's going to put you in breach of contract. Yeah. Okay, you, no, sure, I understand how you feel. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to have to give you some bad news here, Bill. Yeah, you're fired. What? <laughs> no, no, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, and I just did. So why don't you pack up your shit, you ungrateful fat fuck, and take a hike? Oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice language. Wait. <laughs> hey, listen, listen to me. I don't care if you work with Scorsese and Coppola, all right? Their films suck as far as I'm concerned. They're old news, Billy boy. Old news. Just like you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll tell you something. Here's what you do. If you feel the need to sue us, you go ahead and do that, all right? Shit! But you know what? If you do that, your name's gonna be dirty. Shit! And nobody's gonna work with you again. Yeah. Okay, hey, look, love to chat with you, but I'm sitting here, I gotta meet it. All right? Yeah, gonna have to let you go. Okay, yeah, see you later. Good luck. Right back at you, dickhead. <laughs> anyway, so you got seven murderers. They're on a bus. What's the catch? Actually, it's seven strangers on a bus. One of them's a killer, and that is the catch. Um, it's full of really clever plot twists. Okay, but, you know, does it move? Does it have any punch? Well, it's not that kind of film. It really takes its time to crawl into your skin. I'm doing strange things like 